fly. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Talk About Jesus Talk Show. I am your uh, uh, host this evening, Evangelist Joanne. Uh, we're having a lot of fun before the show starts. Uh, so, uh, the crew members. Uh, well, guys, do you want to say hello? Hello! Hello! hello. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yes, and I just want to... This is not just our guest as well for tonight. This, uh, uh, this is not just our guest for tonight, but this is also one of our new crew members. Uh, uh, if you did see on on um, uh, on, uh, on the comments, uh, 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 he he writes a lot of her comments, and he also the one who puts it on YouTube for us. So he does all that technical stuff for us as well. And this is Evangelist uh, Ernest. Welcome. Thank and you. welcome to be part of a, the, the talk show as a crew. And thank you for being part of, uh, uh, to be the guest, yes. uh, 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 you know, uh, on the show tonight. And I can't wait for his testimony in what he wants to bring for us. But before we're going to start, I first quickly want to uh, ask people, please share this broadcast. To your friends and family and please go and like and follow the page so then you will get not notifications on uh, the, uh, the shows or the guests what we will have on and especially next week you do not want to miss we are get, getting a guest all the way from Belito and so, so that is going to be a powerful testimony you do not want to miss that that testimony um, so yeah, um, and if you have a testimony, please get in contact with us. We do have a phone number. The crew will put the phone number down if you want to uh, uh, contact us and um, or just be part of uh, to sit and be part of uh, the audience. You are so welcome. But uh, I also quickly want to do a shout out. Now I'm not going to uh, mention names because it's too many. And I've got so many pastors and, and prophets and bishops and uh, uh, evangelists, people, what I'm talking with all different countries. They keep me quite busy on Instagram and uh, Telegram and on WhatsApp. Um, uh, thank you for all the messages. Some of them I do not get. Uh, uh, um, it's like in, on in Telegram, there's about 200 and I'm trying to get to, uh, to all of them. But I want to say thank you and for the people who's watching. We've got the UK watching for people uh, I know they're in the UK. Uh, people in Pakistan, all the evangelists and pastors, welcome. Uh, uh, um, and thank you for all the beautiful videos what you guys sent me and video, uh, photos of uh, this revival happening in Pakistan yeah. and in India. Mexico, my wonderful people, uh, pastor and evangelist, what I know in Mexico, Canada, who are watching from Canada as well, America, and uh, uh, evangelist and a pastor in Dubai, and all nations ministry uh, from Portugal. So uh, my church, well, what we belong to is all nations ministry, and we got a church there as well uh, in uh, Portugal. And then I also want to say, for my, my friends uh, in, in Israel, and uh, I've got friends who stays in Jerusalem, and in Bethlehem, and in uh, White Bank, um, I just want to tell you that we are praying for you. We know you guys are going through a difficult time, but we've got a lot of churches, a lot of people standing, and we are praying, and we're fasting, and you guys uh, are in our prayers. And... Um, yeah, we're just thinking of you. You see, uh, Ernest, I almost moved in two months' time. I supposed to be in Israel, yeah. and uh, and I would, I wanted to do the talk show from Israel, but I'm not moving to Israel God kept anymore. You this side. God kept me this side. Um, but I just want to say, um, I, I pray for everybody who's in Israel who knows me, and uh, we love you, and we we there for you in prayer. So yeah, this is all my thank yous, and um, please tell us a bit later from where are you watching, and uh, that would be wonderful because we would like to say hi to you. And um, so, you know, Ernest, how does it feel to be now in a from behind the cameras, 
uh, and the lights to be in front of uh, the camera now and the lights. It feels nice to be put on the on the spot. It is. And um, yeah, I feel honored to be on this side and oh. on your show. Um, something else I felt mm. like you should maybe yes. mention is our ordination on the 30th. Oh, we yes. We both um, yes. become pastors. Thank you for... And some other people in our church as well, our Bible study group. And you yes. could maybe invite people to come as well. Yeah. If they want to see you get ordained or me get ordained on that specific day. That's correct. And also meet um, Pastor Mutley there if yes. they want to see him. A Pastor Mutley from a miracle center. He's our uh, spiritual father. Uh, and Apostle Fatima is our spiritual mother. We're from All Nations Ministry. And on Sunday, we are going to be... Uh, um, uh, the 30th. The 30th, yeah. yeah Sorry, the 30th. Um, we will be ordained as pastors. And you're all welcome. What I will do is I will put on a talk show, uh, like a, a, the, the, the dress and, and where it is. And please book your seats. So if you guys want to come and... Uh, 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 spend the morning uh, with us and also meet uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Apostle Dr. Siva Mutli from a miracle center. He will ordain us that, that day with Apostle Fatima. Yes. It's going to be such an honor yeah. uh, uh, and, and, and to, you know, to be there. And yeah, when, uh, when it's going to be pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Joanne, yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, can you believe uh, they, uh, 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 post, uh, Apostle Fatima said we have to do like a little speech and you know the journey what we uh, in. Yeah, I started laughing. I said, oh, you know, I almost gave up before. Uh, uh, I think I was six <laughs> months in Bible school and I said, that's it. This is not for me. This is not going to work for me. But yeah, God made us, mold us, got us uh, uh, where we are now. Our spiritual mother is watching, Pastor Fatima. Oh, our spiritual mother from All Nations Ministry. She's watching. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're proud of us, eh? Yes, I just wanted to say, I hope she's proud of us taking over. <laughs> yes. Uh, if it wasn't for, for her, you know, um, I, I really, I, I, I can just thank God. Um, she really is, she's standing with us, she's praying with fan. us. She is, hey? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Not only with us, with him, all the other people, they, yeah. she's our biggest fan. Well, yeah. she is a mother. And is there now one person who stands and pray for you? Is, is this Apostle Fatima from All Nations Ministry? If she tells you she's going to pray for you, she does it yes and uh, uh there was times when i wanted to give up and before i even started this talk show she grabbed me and she said you're going to do this god told you to do it and you know so it help sometimes you need a, a holy smack yes <laughs> give someone to be strict yes so yeah i, I always said when my mom stopped she took over <laughs> <laughs> but we need it we need str uh, strong people but she does it with love um you know she's got so much compassion yeah. and love for 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 us and for um people. and for people yeah yeah 100 percent. so yeah so welcome <laughs> so please uh, through the uh, show please tell us from where are you watching and uh, so we can say hi to you guys that'd be wonderful so and bachelor Ernest, please tell the people a bit about yourself now if i know you what the part of a crew yes so now we can uh... okay so for me i thought about what to say on yes. the show for like the most of the week and a lot of people have testimonies of when they were younger mm. how they were maybe abused by their parents i yes. never had that yeah um my parents did have their issues but they never took it out on mm. us we lived our life they supported us with whatever we do yeah um yes we did grow up not knowing God really, mm. in a, now and then going to an NG Kirk. Yeah. That's where I came from. So from all, an NG Yes. So all of the stuff um, where I came to All Nations Ministry, even our previous church um, with Pastor, um, he's actually Gertzwar, but everyone calls him Buti. Yeah. Pastor Buti. Um, that was a totally different thing for me. And that's also how I got saved. But I want to start off by mm. saying, um, or after thinking a long time, mm. 
I thought about why my first marriage didn't succeed. And the, now I can openly say my first marriage didn't succeed because God wasn't there. Yeah. I didn't pray. We didn't go to church. We didn't speak to God. We didn't have a relationship with God. Yeah. And it cannot work. Yeah, like it's so important. You have to have... It, it will never work. Yeah. And my current wife, I got divorced and met, a, met an awesome woman that actually led me to God. Yeah, she, and she's actually sitting yeah, right she's here part at the of back. The crew now, the <laughs> place. And Wonderful. She's also a worship uh, uh, leader. A leader and she sings absolutely beautiful. <laughs> she, when we met, I don't know if she, she also came from a relationship where she was cheated on. Mm -hmm. So it was a struggle for me to break down the wall that she built up. Yeah, before, before I know. I also had that wall. I had a wall with electrical fencing and and dogs and <laughs> whole <laughs> So she, the only, the first thing she thought about is let me take him to church because she knows I came from an Enkhekar. Yeah, I didn't know what happens in the charismatic church. Yes, she thought maybe he's gonna run. <laughs> so she did explain to me before the time we're going to a service. Um, Pastor Butiswa yeah. is gonna be there. And they sing and they dance and that's what she said yes. so the service started i was sitting there and at that time of my life stuff was bad yeah I got divorced i lost everything sure. um I, I had to go on a debt review yeah i could, didn't have a good credit and my car was broken wow so i was stuck so, I, yeah, I couldn't even is... make a loan <gasps> to fix my car oh, that's no. how bad it was so she said no let's go to church mm. went to church they sang and they danced. Everything was fine. So after the singing, Pastor Buti said, um, there's someone here that wants me to pray for him. I kept quiet first and a lady came yeah. first before me. She came to the front and he didn't even touch her. He just said, in Jesus' name, and she fell under the Spirit. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to sit. Yeah, I'm not that, going because to Because you're front. not used to it. No, I'm not like, going to fall. Please. So um, he asked again, there's someone here I must yeah. pray for. And my wife said, Annie, you must go. So I went. Yeah. I didn't fall, but what he said made me cry. He didn't know. And this, the, this is a thing that yes. caught me for the rest of my life. And I pray that that thing can be mm. in me if I minister to someone. Yes. He didn't know me. I, that was the first time I saw him. And it was like he could count the stuff on his hand. Mm -hmm. um, you went through a breakup. You lost everything. Yes. Um, but you feel lost. And he said, you know what God says? Ask me one thing and I'll, mm. prove, I'll, I'll prove that you do that I'll exist. In my mind, still mm. thinking small as a baby Christian. Yes. I said, okay, I want that car fixed. And yes. he prayed and we left. Well, the service ended and we left. So I thought, oh, that was just another service. Yeah. Whatever. The Monday I went to work, my grandfather passed away. They sent me home. So yeah. I had to walk um, to from where I work to Cresta's about six blocks. And I yes. had to walk down to Cresta to get my mother-in-law there because she didn't know where I work. Yeah. So down walking down the road to Cresta, uh, SMS, 10,000 rand deposit in my account. So <laughs> I, see, I see the reference number. It's yeah. my mother's sister that I never speak to. Yeah. I immediately phone her and I ask her this money. It's someone but you never uh, it just that I didn't ex expect yes. to get my mother's sister that I don't speak to. Well, not oh. that I don't speak to her. We never see each other. Yeah. So I phoned her and I asked her and now this money. She said no. I heard your car's broken. Here's the money. Fix the car. So I said okay. Wow. I can pay you back about five hundred rand a month or yes. something. She said don't. It's a gift from God. Amen. You see how God can use other people. Wow. And with that, that's how actually my ministry started. That's how my curiosity mm. yes. came to, to understand how God can show one person something of someone else that doesn't even know you. Yeah. So with Pastor Swart, before we came mm. to All Nations Ministry, that's where we went. Yes. And he's a full evangelist. He, he used to work yeah. with Reinhard Bonke. Yeah. So he's a he's an evangelist. He's a pastor, but his passion is evangelism. He yeah. can't sit in a church. He wants to go where people need to be saved. I still need so, to get him on the show. Yes, yes. He, and he'll come. Mm. Um, so what happened after that mm. is we took over the church uh, music, like yeah. we're doing now in all nations yes. ministry. Yeah. My wife was singing. Yes. I got the equipment, so she was singing. I was doing the music. Yeah. 
and he went took it a step further. So the one day, they used to like doing open air services. Yeah. So it's like an tent or gazebo. Yes. Yeah. And then just with an open air, like a big oh, field inside. Yes. If there's like flats around the field, it's even better. Yeah. You'll go and make do the service there. So this one day, no one could go. I think my wife and her whole family had to go to a family thing. So yeah. it was only me and him. Me and yeah. Pastor Putis. Right. So I packed the car that time. I didn't have the bucky. So yeah. it was the two big speakers, the two small speakers, the amp, yeah. all the stuff in my wife's car. Yes. With the boot open. <laughs> with the boot open. Yeah. So we go. <laughs> I go to this field, it's in Friededorp. Mm. Everyone knows this, the place more, uh, I think they call it Fitos or something. Yeah. Friededorp, in, yeah. near to Bromfontein. Mm. So we go there, set up the stuff, and I tell him, Pastor Buti, there's no one here. He says, mm. don't worry, just play the music. Play, yes. the, play it as loud as you can, because then people will know here. Play the music for yeah. an hour, 45 minutes, no one comes. Said Pastor Buti, yeah. but no. Yeah. He says, no, just play just a little play, bit more. Yes. And about seven people came and he said, okay, no, that's enough for me to bring the word. Wow. And he gave the word to the people and across the field, yeah. a guy came running with a quart of beer, closed one. Yeah. We saw him running and he came in, he, he came in front of Pastor Buti and he put the beer down. And he said, I want to be delivered from alcohol <gasps> now oh. immediately. Look and Pastor Buti said, yes, let's yeah. do it. And he prayed for him. He fell under the spirit and the next lady had a baby with a split palate. It's mm. just hard little bit. Yes. To Pastor Buti Swat then said, God showed him, I must pray for this baby. So yeah. now listening to all Pastor Buti's testimonies where he yes. uh, brought people from the dead, God out God did that yes. through him. Yeah. He had I, 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 I was show, like right? um yeah. I was confident that yes. I, that God can heal this baby through me. So I prayed for the baby. The service was over, so this guy that was the drunk left his court, mm. court of beer there in the, on the ground as well. <laughs> so we didn't know what to do with this beer. Should we throw it out or what? No, we yeah. threw it out and we threw the bottle away. Yes. So the next day at the at church, the uh, the guy that came with the beer, his wife came to testify. Yeah. And that guy woke up for the first time in 10 years sober. Oh, wow. And the lady with the baby also came and a the baby's palate looked grew closed over the yeah. unit. Um, while she was sleeping, the palate closed. Yes. That was the thing that caught me with ministry. And I, I still, I can sit in a service and be amazed by how God shows people stuff of other people. Yeah. So maybe a secret that only you and God knows. Yes. Like with Pastor Fatima, God will show her that secret to bring you to God. Exactly. Yeah. And that's wonderful. I mean, today I, I got a, a prophecy by a, a prophet, um, and and like I said, he what he said, what I did think last yes, uh, uh, yesterday, um, he said today. So it's just wonderful to see God. Yes, you 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 know, because I said to God, I want to pray more. I I, I want to pray longer. I mean, today he's from uh, Nigeria, or well, I'm not sure, and he said. And God said, you will pray longer. So that shows yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. God shows, shows yeah. you what you need. Well, he confirms it through other Yeah, people. that's def definitely, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's why I am where I am and what I want to do, what I want to do. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's my main testimony. That's why I said my testimony is not coming from a bad place where God put you in. That's why I always wonder. Yeah. Some people had to go through so... so yes. Uh, what can I say? Very bad stuff mm. for them to eventually get to God. And yeah. lucky for me, I didn't have to go through that. God was always there for me, and He just takes me to. He puts me in different places to learn higher. But yes. I'm glad we ended up by um, Pastor Fatima oh. because she doesn't stop seeking and yes. learning. Because I feel that if she keeps on learning, we'll keep on learning. Yeah, she yeah. she she uh, was there and she keeps us uh, on a go the whole time. And, yes, and, and even through COVID yeah. last year when we, um, when COVID hit. Yes, in, tell when me was about March, COVID. I think it was March, June. Yeah, June. Yes. I um, mm -hmm. got COVID. I got COVID in yes. the first person at the company where I work, work at where there's two thousand people. Wow, I was the first one that got it, so I then. I can't yes. say I got it at work. I yeah. don't know where I got it, but I got COVID. And, and um, your wife. 
Yeah, I um, infected my wife. Yes. I can yeah. say that. But then I was admitted to hospital mm -hmm. on the Thursday. They said my, um, what is this, oxygen intake is 80, I think 88%. Yeah. And I had a fever like crazy. So I told my wife, no, phone the ambulance so they can come pick me up. That was the Thursday. Um, well, they only admitted me like three o'clock in the, in the morning. So yeah. it was the Friday. The Saturday, um, one a dearest pastor for me, Prophet Johan, yeah. he calls me. He yes. asked me, are you really in hospital? How yeah. is that possible? Uh, yeah, he was like... Yeah, uh, and I said, yes, I'm in hospital and I'm praying for myself. And it feels like I can't pray because I don't know if nothing is happening. Yeah. I feel stuck. He says, don't think that God is going to take you out. And he prayed for me. He I prayed mean. to me over the phone and mm -hmm. he sent me a WhatsApp voice note. But when he sent me that WhatsApp voice note, I could pray with him as well. Yes. And uh, receive that and the fever immediately broke. Wow. Wonderful. Once that fever broke, they even moved me to a different ward. Yes. So when I got to this ward, and mm -hmm. sometimes I think that's the reason why I was there. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why it, the COVID went so quickly. Yes. Because when I got to this other ward, there was four men. Um, the first person next to me was a Chinese guy, yeah. yes, but it's okay. Um, so in the corner, I was on the window and the, on the other side, there was a, the, when I walked in there, the yes. curtains were closed and I could hear a boy speaking and a lady, but now there's nothing else to listen to. So you're yeah. going to listen to what they're saying. Yeah. And this boy spoke to the, I'm sure it was a psychiatrist or a counselor mm -hmm. or something, but he said, no, he's in hospital because he um, tried to commit suicide yes. and his parents keep stopping him to commit suicide. Yeah. He feels that he's a burden for them. This is now what he's telling yes. the counselor. Nowhere does she say, um, are you a believer? Do you know Jesus or anything? So when she left and opened the curtains, I yeah. felt that's my chance now to speak to him. So I went to him and I asked him, do you have COVID? Why are you here? He said, yes, hmm. I, I got COVID in the hospital. So I'm here with COVID. Yeah. And I asked him, do you know that God loves you? And he looked me in the eyes and he started, and he didn't cry, but I could see a tear running yeah. down. Yes. And I started ministering to him. And while well, eventually he gave his heart to the Lord, I said the sinner's prayer with him. He accepted Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he left the day before me out of the hospital. But when he left, he came to me. He said, you know what? Thank you very much for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I was going to commit suicide in the hospital. Well, so my yeah. parents couldn't stop me. See, so that was just the right time yes. for you to be. And that was when COVID just start, yes. started. It was not the like first, now recently. The first no. wave, well, that first lockdown. First wave, yeah. yeah. And they were very strict that time because we couldn't go and uh, pray or anything because they nobody yes, could go in the hospital. Yeah, my wife couldn't come to the she hospital. Stayed, yeah, she stayed, yeah. to bring the clothes and stuff to the reception. Yeah. Or, uh, or, I think it was at the reception. Or yes. No, yeah, not at the gate, at the reception. Wow. Yeah, because nobody can go in there. So, yes, I just feel that if God can put me anywhere and use me anytime, he that's can. what He wants to do. Huh? Yeah, we must just be able and willing and listen to God's voice because we are so busy through the day that we sometimes forget to listen. God, is there anything what we can say or, or for, for someone? Because you can stand in a shopping center, in the spa, or the chemist, or what even ask uh, God, this person in front of me, do you like me to say something? Believe me, 99%, I ain't like 100%, God will say yes. Even if you tell that person, listen, God loves you, you know? And uh, but sometimes... But sometimes I feel that. people are shy to Very. admit that they um either a pastor or... Um, they they um, the Christians yeah. because as soon as you you can be in a like on Monday I went to the school for a meeting yeah there, and as soon as they heard that I'm studying to be a pastor and I'm going to be ordained the whole atmosphere and the subject that we spoke about changed <laughs> because now they feel open they can speak about Jesus yes. they can do anything yeah it's that, funny that is huh? no that is <laughs> But uh, um, tell us about more about your uh, ministry, what you're going in. Okay, my yeah. ministry um, is mainly um, to try and get kids saved. Not, That's not wonderful. well, any type of kid, but mainly to go to small kids. Yes. And where I saw 
that's my calling is in a church as well at mm. pastor prince that also that was also on your yes, show yes yeah and we greet him if he's on on looking yes. or his wife is looking yeah i'm my sure maybe they are watching so much. are very wonderful yes. people um at his church um so in the bible school well i don't have to explain to you yeah um <laughs> When we go to a church and there's too many people to pray, mm -hmm. um, our pastor, our spiritual mother, will call us to the front yes. and l let us line up. And she'll ask the audience, wherever you're comfortable um, yes. praying for you, go to that person. So Joanne ends up with people for, for, that for need witches, deliverance. Yeah. My wife <laughs> ends up with people that need deliverance. And all the kids came to me. Yes, all right. The, all I the, do. They yeah. line up by him. And the thing that, that made me well not hard so which what caught me is a small boy actually in our church saying mm. please pray for my mommy and daddy for them to stop fighting well did you see so if That's, they can if 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 we can reach to those well if we if i can get to that those children and it's difficult now i actually wish that someone on your show can put mm. me in a gap where we can go to a school because it's difficult yes. Whenever you go to a school and pitch your idea of yeah. um, ministering to your, the children or doing a youth Friday or something yes. like that, they tell you no, it's difficult with COVID or there's so many politics, they can't, you can't yeah. come now, they will let you know or they say no, they, you can come yes. and open a, um, what is this, assembly yes. with, yeah. a, with a small thing, yes. but then they never call you back. Well, if there's any teachers out there who's in a school or principals, uh, or, or principals, uh, or please uh, get in contact. Uh, um, uh, Ernest, uh, his number, Adventures uh, Ernest's number will be on the screen, or you can contact the, the talk show. Yes. And uh, definitely let him come and speak with. He got a good way of speaking to the children. And today, in this world, what we live in now, we do need. Uh, people go so, so some of the children don't listen to the parents no, anymore they don't because they don't. You, your children are more likely to listen to someone else than yourself yes if they don't know you yeah and you tell them something that catches their mind yeah then they will most definitely listen to you more yes. than their own parents yeah so please and or uh, do you can do counseling with children yes, as well most definitely yeah so based counseling as with as my well. wife well, yeah. myself and my wife's ministry is actually sort of connected. Yes. Um, with me doing ministry for kids, she's on the other side for counseling for families. Yes. Um, where, Please tell about yes, that for the people as well. My wife does um, what in a group, uh, well, her ministry's yeah. name is All Nations Recovery Center, yes. Family Recovery Center. Yeah. So what she does is she doesn't only focus on the child that needs to um, recover mm -hmm. or get off of drugs. That's something that we all have a step to go through. That's the child true. has to decide that he wants to get off of drugs. He needs yes. to go to rehab to get out of the drugs. After that, then yes, ministry starts to keep him yes. going. But she also doesn't focus on the child only. Mm. She counsels the family. Yeah, she goes out, deeper. Yes, yeah. To how to or the let's say the parents. Yes how to cope with this child mm. how to um well she gets them saved first if they're not saved but then they she teaches her, them how to counsel the child and that so, makes sense because a lot of uh, parents don't know how to cope with a child yes but a lot of parents, parents yeah. are also um As, i can't say stuck in religion but they're stubborn it's like yes. they know um how the child was when he was under drugs yeah and they expect him to do the same thing they, they don't expect um, him to change and support yeah. the change. So they still go back and think about what he done. Yeah. They don't see the future. That's true. Yeah. So that's what she does. She helps them to see what the child's mm. future is, support them. I've even seen her um, getting jobs for some of those children. Yeah. Um, she spends nights where she talks to those people. Yeah. On phone, well, for hours, she counsels with them on WhatsApp and mm. further phone calls. It's amazing what she does. Well, if, if you guys go on our uh, archive, if you go back into Talk About Jesus talk show, you will see I did uh, interview her as well. Yes. But what we will do is we will put uh, the ad of, of uh, uh, the, uh, because I feel my heart, there's so many children who's, who, uh, who's at this time, which, it's a crazy time what we're living in now. 
and they are going uh, for alcohol. Do you guys help people yes, with, in any with addiction. alcohol? Any addiction? It's not a, drugs, yes. drugs is not the only addiction. Yeah. Alcohol. And there's someone on a group that said, um, yes, I think it, I don't know if it's the husband or the wife, but mm -hmm. the husband has an alcohol problem. Um, why does he have to be on a drug group? But it's an addiction. It's an addiction. Can, that can lead to something. Um, the, exactly. Yeah, that's hundred percent. So we will definitely put uh, an ad uh, 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 what you guys got, yes. and we will put it on um, Talk About Jesus, Jesus talk Faith, show. Yeah. So please go and support as well. Um, you can go and support them on even if you want to help tonight because it does. Uh, uh, um, they do need money to do all kinds of things, uh, but it's not about just money. It's to to save yes. that people's. Uh, uh, lives and bring them back to the kingdom of god you know she also does like a, um i don't know she she she, has, she didn't have one last month mm. where she has a I, I can't say it's a, co a conference but it's a a meeting yes. if you if you really just want to come and see what it's about yes yeah um, she does have she does schedule a meeting once a month yeah. um, on a saturday that's wonderful, and we will definitely tell the people when that is. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm addicted to Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need help. I'm just addicted to Jesus. I'm quite happy with You're him. Saved. Yeah. I'm so I love Jesus. <laughs> Do you love Jesus? He loves you, and you are so special to Jesus. I know someone just tuned in now. I feel in the spirit, God. You just need this word now. God say He loves you. He hears your your prayer. And this was not a mistake of you tuning in right now. God loves you. It's not in the world. He will open that doors for you. He loves you and you are so special to him. This was just for you because I felt in spirit you just tuned in now. You were only watching yes, now. So God opens that door with your curiosity. Yes. If you just um, see what you you want to do something mm. and god will open yes. that door for you with your curiosity god can take you a lot of places because you want to see it yes. you want to do it and all that and if you do not belong to a church please get in contact with us you guys are welcome to come and join uh, uh and come and visit all nations ministry but if you do uh, uh, belong to a church stay by it but just make sure that they preach for word and yes. we have a powerful ministry but yeah signs yeah. miracles and wonders. wonders um i say you get some churches who, where they go and it's just a motive what you call it a motivation feeling. yes a motivational speech i mean you just feel okay that was great i'm ready and you know for, for the week Sunday's motivation <laughs> exactly yeah you have to see people need to raise for that heal the sick blinds get uh, you know people's blind uh, you have to know that open. yes mm. god still do what he did for two thousand years ago he's still doing now oh god never changed he's still the same yes. yesterday day every, every day he's still the same yesterday day, today and tomorrow and that's it i couldn't give <laughs> that <laughs> i'm so glad some people can correct me <laughs> You know, I'm getting better with my English now, people. Um, with my, all my Africa, of my overseas people, you actually make me to speak English because uh, we started Afrikaans with this uh, uh, program, but um, <laughs> because the audience are getting so big now, yes. and we're getting overseas people now, and um, but you know, it's, it's difficult to speak. Um, you will see some of our testimonies. Are in Afrikaans. Yes. We are going to have one or two people coming on, and it will be in in Afrikaans. Afrikaans. But uh, um, but yeah, just just say Amen. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. So what else can you tell us? Um, um, I don't know if you want to maybe talk about the, a bit about the Bible school. Yeah, please tell them a bit about um, the Bible with school. The All Nations Bible in. School. Yes, and mm. I believe that if you join a church. Um, yeah. You need to go a step further. You can't yes. just stay a person sitting in or just coming to the service, leaving. Mm. That's like going to the grocery store, buying and then going home, eating yeah. it, finish. You need to fill yourself up and learn, put yourself on the next level. That's great. So if you don't have a Bible school at your church, mm. uh, well, I can invite you to come to our yes. Bible school. You can come to Pastor Fatima. She would most definitely look at you, pray for you. <laughs> 
and put you in somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Even if you start as start off as a person at the door taking temperatures for yes. now, that's where you're gonna start. But she'll put you in. Yeah. And the amazing thing is that she teaches you on a different level. Like for yes, me, I'm um, coming from mm. um, an NGK. Yeah. I didn't really know um, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I don't know what he does. I don't know how to feel him. I don't know. I didn't know all of this thing. So for me yes. personally, it was like if you had to take a small child mm. and walk through the garden and tell him this is a white flower, this is mm. a green flower, this is a yellow flower, remember this color. Yeah. That's how she took me and taught me the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because I didn't know it and I, I didn't maybe know how to pray to receive it, but she showed me and she yes. taught me how to listen, how to see, how to feel, how to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. So that we also prophesy now. Yeah. And I remember my first prophecy was with you. Yes. When we were in church and yeah. she was talk, te teaching us how to, God shows us stuff. Yes. Can you I still remember, remember? I still remember. She put us two, two together and you're not allowed to be with your husband. It was, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And I remember that day, um, what I said made you cry and yeah. I felt bad. <laughs> Is it why you cry? I said, I don't know what you're saying. So you're... <laughs> yeah. But, um, she does amazing things god does amazing things through her and yeah I, I don't know i can just pray and ask god that he can open my spiritual ears as yeah. much as his yes um with funny things mm. you some people will think it's crazy or mm. we live in la la land but i've seen it with my own eyes <laughs> yeah and i've experienced it with my own eyes but, okay okay yeah um the one day I came to Bible school and I was a bit depressed and she asked me, Ernest, what's wrong? I said, no, I've got a problem with my bucky. Yeah. The, something is not okay. She said, no, man. She took the anointing oil and yes. she rubbed it on her hands. She says, let's go pray. So we went outside <laughs> and she doesn't know anything about cars. No, it's She's a woman. A you know, and she not, stood in front yeah. of the bucky and she put her hands on the front of the bonnet and she said, what did you do with the wires here? Yeah. She doesn't know there's wires. The yes. bonnet was closed. Yeah. I said, we changed the spark plugs and the wires. She said, okay. Yeah. She went to the side and she put her hands there and she said, what did you do with the belts? Yeah. And I said, yes, we changed the cam belt and the tensioner, and the, but that, there's nothing wrong. She went to the other side. She put her hands there. She says, there's something wrong with water on this side. There's water on this side. She yes. doesn't know, but the problem is water. Yeah. So I went home. When I got home, opened the bonnet and I saw the, the water bottle cap yeah. was leaking. <gasps> so that's why the car got o overheated and it got air inside there. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying God can show you anything mm. at any time, yes. whatever you need. You must just listen to him and mm. open your spiritual ears. Yeah. No, she, she, she learned us a lot. I can just, um, I, I know she did say it last Sunday. Or for, or for if we're getting ordained on the 30th we got like four or three minutes but with her i mean we can talk the whole day over things what she did for us like how can we say what she did for us in in that yeah, four, the, and the stuff five that, minutes the stuff that god shows her i think that's why you guys said i'm the blue eyed boy yeah, you, i don't get, yeah. I don't you know, get shouted <laughs> on monday but no but he's also laughing here you know in bible school she must have that he was a back, a back, 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 and he, he, he's, you know, no, he doesn't I get think, the, I, uh, I, I thought about why I felt like that, but <laughs> the stuff she, she teaches, yeah, maybe that amazed me so much that I didn't even um, take offense or I didn't even notice her moaning. I just did it because yes. what she taught us was so amazing for me that yeah. I didn't think about anything else. If she did moan, I didn't realize that she moaned. No, she didn't moan at you. She moaned at us. <laughs> but uh, I think she's very happy. And even our angels are very happy we made it. <laughs> oh, yes. And that's the other thing that she taught us about angels. Yes. When, yeah. when she taught us about angels, I was like, okay, so speak to me. Where are you? Yes. Yeah, speak to me, angel. Um, tap me or yeah. smack me or tell me where you are. <laughs> And I just saw my wife's angel. I and didn't see saw... mine yet. <laughs> yeah. I see other people's angels and not mine yet. But mm. I can feel Marcus. He's, he's in the house and he makes... He, 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 I know he, he's there. Yeah. You, know? you can feel that uh, your angels are, are, are with you. But uh, um, 
Yes, I just want to say, please share this broadcast to your friends and family. Is there any uh, person we need prayer, to say? Prayer request. A prayer request, yes. Joey, she said she can't spell. She can't spell? Mm. No, that's a sign of COVID. No, it's not COVID. Um, no. I know personally. Is it? Because she can get a smell back for a few years now. Okay. okay. Yeah, like, pray for her for a smell to, to come back. It's for not the COVID. God. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Firstly, Father God, we mm. want to thank you for what you do for us. Jesus. We thank you for what you've done. Mm. Um, sending your only son Jesus. to die for us on the cross. Sat and Lord. for Jesus doing it willingly. Sat for Lord. all our sicknesses, inequities, Sat transgressions. Lord. For any shortcoming mm. that we have in our lives. Father God, yes. we come to you now and we bring Joey. Yes, we bring her. Towards you, Father God. Yes, Jesus. Firstly, we ask you that we, because you are, we are forgiven. We ask you that you forgive our sins, mm. past sins, present sins, yes. future sins, sins yes. we do without thinking, Father mm. God. We ask you that you please forgive us. Yes, you are Jesus. forgiving God, Father God. We and love you, if Jesus. you forgive us, we ask you that you give us peace yes, that Jesus. we can forgive in, like you forgive, Father God. Yeah. Father God, we put Joey in front of you so yeah, that. The shortcoming she has with mm. smell through her nose, Father yeah. God, that it should be broken now, broken now, in the name of Jesus. For God says that the pray, the 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 healing is already there. We must just believe it. Yes. Because He is the Alpha and the Omega, He was already there in the end, and it's already sorted out. We must come in line with what He wants us to do, and stuff will work out perfectly. Joey, I believe that your smell will be um, restored in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. You will smell roses. I just hear God say, you will smell roses. So take it and receive it. And you'll smell roses. I know it's just, you're going to smell it or you need to go to your roses and smell it. But I hear you will smell roses. So just take your healing. And say just thank you, Jesus, for this healing what I received now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus loves you so much. You are so special. Please tell us from where are you watching? Any prayer requests? Any questions if you like? You're more than welcome to, to send it. <laughs> We're very proud children. We're very proud children. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we get to uh, quite often on the show as well of teaching. Um, last week she was on and we were talking about cleaning house. Yes. Uh, um, how important it is to, to clean your house. And um, and Beth was very interested. So please go and watch that. Uh, not now. Just listen to us before. There you go. Go and watch <laughs> where she talked. And... Uh, and yeah, and, and next week I'm so excited to to have a person all the way from um, Belito. Uh, that's wonderful. And that's going to be a powerful testimony. Um, really, you do not want to miss that one. Um, that's why I ask for people, please put the notification and the like. Because then you will uh, get an, uh, notified on the people who will be on. And next month we're going to have, in June, we're going to have a youth mm. month. And have some young people here. I think uh, that will be, uh, uh, you know, interesting and and, and show how how uh, the children of the pastor prince said some of his youth yeah. are coming. And I think that night is going to be wonderful because they got so much energy. Yes, they lot. got so they love. You know, it's a, amazing to go to the church because um, yeah. praise and worship is on another level. Yes. Um, if you had to imagine people going to um, a, a rave club, if I can say yes. that, but then in the church, yeah. they dance for Jesus that way. Yeah. And I wish that wherever we go, praise and worship can be like that. Yeah, and not be so stiff. And, yes. And, and, you know, just, you know, we are uh, praising. God loves if we praise Him. He loves if we sing to Him. And, and, and just to uh, be in His presence, I mean... Why do you want to stand there like you go at the funeral and just, you know, your hand, because you, you, you're too shy to show people your hand is up. Just put 
your hands up because if you put your hands up you receive yes. if your hands are closed it's you sorry god i don't want to receive put your hands up and don't worry about the people around you why 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 got my own way to take for himself to heaven now what do i need to do you concentrate on yourself and you just live for jesus you know how, how much how wonderful he enjoys um you know at, at, god gave me the gift of marie she sings but god gave me the gift of singing in tongues now i never did it in church yet but at home in the car um, i sing this beautiful uh, um and i thought myself i wonder what am i seeing because it sounds so you know and the words are never the same yeah, and, and what was so nice is just amazing of the singing and God loves it he, yes. the, even the angels love if we we worship you know um, I'm one of the uh, worship well back you know I'm the at the back <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I I go in such a how can I say been I wake up and I say, oh, but all the people are there. Because God takes you sometimes on, on a different, different level. level if you just close your eyes and you... And sometimes He shows you stuff while your eyes are closed. And it's just amazing, you know. Um, so, yeah, I can just say uh, we're enjoying um, the worship. I, I just get the feeling to mm -hmm. say to someone um, that is watching, or maybe yeah. will be watching, um, don't give up. Mm. Don't ever give up. God never gave up on us. Yes. He went on the cross. He died for us mm. willingly. He didn't at that at that moment on the cross. He could have decided to say, "I don't want to be here. Let everyone die that yeah. is here." And he could have gotten off of the cross, yeah. but he didn't. He suffered no. for us. So don't give up because yes. your breakthrough could be in the next five minutes. But then you yes. gave up. Yeah. So don't give up. God yeah. will do what He promised to do. Yes, amen. Mm. Amen. You were on His mind when He was there yes. on the cross. You. And He loves you. He loves you so, so much. I hear God say, you are so precious. Why do you not trust me, my child? I'm here for you. I hear your prayers. I hear every prayer and see every tear. I just feel his presence. I don't need him to feel his presence. I see we're running out of time. Um, Oh, I hope you guys feel what we feel. You know, it's just uh, keep you your heart open, and f and just feel His presence. Just close your eyes and say, Lord Jesus, oh, Holy Spirit, I want to feel you like that. People uh, experience you. Just ask; He will do that for you. He will do that for you. I just want to say thank you for everybody who joined in tonight to watch this program and who comment and um, please if you've got any testimony you'd like to share with us um, please get in contact with me and, uh, and, and next week I really um, I, I ask everybody even mothers a lot of mothers as well um, please uh, tune in next week, uh, Thursday, 6.30, um, the guest all the way from Polito. I will put that at on, on Monday. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I must say, I'm, I, I feel so rustig. Mm. And it's like a calming I, I don't know mm. if I can say, Please. tell you something. Um, the most part of this is to tell you that, um, I don't know, if well I don't most of the people on your show saw your testimony yes. about your son yeah and God keeps telling me that he's going to see you on your show yes and he yeah. he will contact you because the details are on the show yes 
what he's talking about my testimony is in English on, on, on talk about Jesus talk show but I was also on TV on Christcake and on the uh, 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 you can go on YouTube and go and see my testimony and there I actually told them um, that what you said about he will maybe see me on, on a talk he show will see you on the will, show. will see me on a talk show I told them that um, I gave him a, a, a blue blanket and uh, to the parents who adopt him and I said uh, one day if he comes and um, want to meet me he needs to have his blue blanket in his uh, uh, hands. Um, hands because it was both my two daughters blankets and um, yeah I also got a I got a feeling that if it's not through the TV show or through the show I know one day I will meet my son and um, that I'm always praying for him always praying for him but I'm I'm proud to have you as my sister because we have the same mother yes and um, God has increased your vocabulary from the beginning in English <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, it did. <laughs> and I pray also mm. every day that um, your show will increase Thank and you. whoever watches your show um, even if it's not with this show, but yes. any other show that yeah. they have watched or will watch, mm. that they will be touched with the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you okay. for that kind um, words. There's a lady called, uh, her name is Shani. I like singing to God, but I want to know what it is like when His presence is nearby. I want to get to know Him better. So you just need to pray Shani. Yeah, Shani. Does she sing um, in church or does she just sing? Just yeah, she just I like singing. singing to God. You like to sing it to God. That's the easiest way to yes. experience the Holy Spirit. Mm. If you sing to God and you worship Him with your mm. whole heart, you will actually, if I can explain it like how I felt mm. it the first time, it's like when you get um, goosebumps, goosebumps mm. it will come over your entire body. Mm. That's when you know the Spirit is coming down. Yes. And from there, it will just increase and increase. Like it's, I feel it. I feel it now. I, I, I know. I'm it, getting it will, goosebumps. You get, will, everybody's the, getting goosebumps. Yeah. The more you I sing, the more you pray, the more you receive it, the more intense it will become. And you, mm. you know that experience when you get the Holy Spirit yes. over you, and it will come from above, not yeah. from, not from, from anywhere else, because God is from above. Oh, Amen. And just receive. Just open. Say. Holy Spirit, I want to feel you. You uh, promise you it will happen. You will even start crying if you if yes. it gets intense. Yeah, yeah, you do. And and just let it go. If you start crying, just let it go. Don't fight it. Just enjoy the the, the moment. With we can Holy also Spirit. invite her to our church if she wants to come. You're welcome. Yes. Yes. And 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 come and sing and dance and just enjoy yourself yes um you know so you're always welcome to to come and visit us all nations minister mm. yes so yeah adventures is it was an honor for you to sit here it's an honor and, to be on the show yeah, and uh, it's uh, nice to see you a bit this side and on that side because he's normally very busy oh, his <laughs> wife is now on a computer's that side and laptops and and uh, uh, um, uh, um, um, all that stuff that <laughs> we got here. <laughs> I don't. I'm not very good at that technical stuff. Yeah, I'm just you know doing the camera Close. work. That's <laughs> that's about it. And maybe the lights. I know a bit about the lights now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for each and everyone who who joined in tonight. Please uh, join us next week, same time. And remember, God loves you. You are a precious to God. And uh, you're not alone. And if you need someone to talk to, you're welcome to give me a call. And uh, even just, uh, even if you just want to talk, um, I'm there. Or you need a prayer, just send your prayer request on a WhatsApp as well. You're more than welcome. we got a team of praying. I so, also just want to say thank you to everyone who always support you on your group yes always yes a lot. yeah yeah it's appreciated yeah we see it we uh, we are so happy that you guys always comment and like and and uh, always after the show they phone us and say yes we enjoyed it and and that means a lot every yes. 
you know i always say even if, if only five people watch if we detach that people's yes. heart then we did our sure. um, our job so but uh, please yeah, share this broadcast to your family and thank you again remember god loves you we love you and have a lovely evening bye guys bye